when you can't move the way that you would like, it can be pretty frustrating. Oftentimes, it feels like your body is working against you. Mobility and freedom of movement are a wonderful goal to shoot for. And many people these days are realizing the value in opening the body. When you are unable to move in the ways that you would like to, this can be pretty frustrating. Choosing to go from stiff to flexible comes with its own set of challenges as well. So it's up for you to decide, do you want to feel restricted in your body and face those challenges, or do you wanna face the challenges of getting more mobile and flexible? In my own journey, I'm now in a place where stiffness doesn't affect my day to day. And if I'm being honest, it took me a long time to get here and a whole lot of work. So if you're thinking about taking this journey yourself, I have some tips for you. And I think that this is gonna help you navigate your way along this path because let's be honest and truthful, like this is a, uh, a very challenging path to take. It's a hero's journey. And it's gonna come with all of these ups and downs. And so I hope that what I illustrate in this video can help you a little bit along that path and speed things up or just make things a little more clear. So here we go. Tip number one is start now. If you haven't started yet, get into a stretch right now. Boom, you've begun your journey. But really, I often see people with way too much hesitancy around starting their flexibility or mobility journey. And rightly so, this stuff hurts. But here's the cool thing about stretching and flexibility is it's your body and only you can be in your body feeling the things that you feel. And if you're willing to embrace it, it's actually a very rich experience being in your body and feeling these things. Find the tight spots, give them a gentle stretch and be with the sensations that arise. And trust yourself. Stretching is as ancient as it gets. People have been doing this for a long time. And if you don't start, it'll never come. So just go. Tip number two, learn from people who were once as stiff as you. Everybody has come from a different place. There are many different types of flexibility teachers. There are some who've come from gymnastics backgrounds, some from circus or contortionist backgrounds, some from yoga, some from strength and conditioning. If you're learning about flexibility, pay attention to where this person has come from. Is it a similar place to where you've come from? For example, if you're a stiff dude who's never stretched in your life, maybe it's not the best idea to go learn from the gymnastics teacher who's been stretching since four years old. Not yet, at least. Every teacher has something good to say, but observe the level that they are speaking to. Sometimes it may not be you, even if they say they are speaking to you. Tip number three, follow a program. Once you've decided what you wanna work on, write it down. Maybe it's just three movements, two stretches and a strengthening exercise. Write down how many sets you're gonna do, how many reps or how long you're gonna be in these stretches, how many days a week, and follow it. Programming is how you're really gonna make change. This is the training aspect of it. And consistency is huge. And a lack of consistency is the number two reason most people fail. Number one is you don't start. Tip number four, keep going. You're gonna hit roadblocks. I hit so many along the way and there were times where I just really wanted to quit. When you hit one of these roadblocks, maybe it's mental, you just aren't seeing results and it's really difficult, or maybe it's physical, you feel like you're doing too much or you're stretching too much. I encourage you to get back at it soon, whether that's the next day or you take two or three days off and then you gently get back into it. The only thing between you and more mobility in your life is the amount of work that you put into it. Tip number five, create a lifestyle around your goal. Just training will get you really far, but 
make sure to use your mobility outside of your training as well. Get in the habit of visiting stretch positions a few times per day, sit on the floor, have activities that challenge your mobility. This is one of the reasons I took up climbing because it really challenged my hip mobility. It's quite simple. Do things more often that challenge your mobility. Last tip, number six, observe your tension. If you're stiff, it's likely accompanied with you being a stressed individual. Start with simply observing this stress and anxiety that you feel and observe how it manifests in your body. Does it make you squeeze your thighs, raise your shoulders, or clench your jaw? If so, you gotta learn to let that shit go. Meditation and guided relaxation meditations are a really good place to start. And Wim Hof breathing might be really good for you. Those are all of my tips. The main thing I wanna illuminate in this video is that if you're gonna go from stiff to mobile, stiff to flexible, then this is gonna become a part of your life. Like This journey, as I said in the beginning, is a hero's journey. It's not gonna be something that you put in your schedule for 10 minutes a day. It's something you're gonna be training for and something that you're gonna be thinking about all the time. Each of these six tips are things that you're gonna revisit over and over again as you go through this journey with a deeper understanding each time. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you watch to this point, subscribe to the channel, and I'd love to hear what you have to say or what your experience has been like in your journeys. And remember, keep stretching, keep going, keep moving. Enjoy the journey. Peace. Whew. Because the stuff we've been climbing, you feel like you're, you think you're going to get a, like a little crimpy and then you like stick your whole hand in there. Yeah. It's like, whew. This is the rock out here. This is it. This is it. Not Dwayne Johnson. It's a good rock. Thanks, buddy. <laughs>